Hello everyone, Bart Baker here with Hyde Motor Works, bringing you an update on our supercharger kit for the Triumph Spitfire. Today we will take a closer look at the construction of the kit. First we will look at the bracket itself as it is mounted on the engine. Secondly, I will show you the tubing setup. And finally, we will look at the blow-off valve, the vacuum placement, and the booster gauge. I want to show you what we have in, uh, ready right now to go. It'll be heading off to uh, fabrication and production uh, shortly. But let's take a look at it now as it's on the engine. Here we have the supercharger itself, as we've seen before, and, and the tubing going from below on the carburetor through to the distributor or to the uh, supercharger and then from the supercharger into the manifold. What we've added now is we've added the blow-off valve. This is a, super, a, a circulating blow-off valve and, and the reason we do that is because we're bringing fuel through the supercharger and then in the manifold. So if it wasn't recirculating, as the blow-off would discharge, it'd blow fuel all over the engine compartment. We don't, want, we don't want to have that. So we're running it back into the bottom uh, tube and just making a loop uh, so everything stays contained. This is our, our vacuum that controls our atmospheric pressure uh, coming off the bottom uh, tube up into here. We will uh, adjust it and, and uh, allow how much, how much uh, PSI goes through for the charge. And on the manifold itself, we have a vacuum that comes off of that and goes inside into a boost gauge so you control, uh, so you know what boost you're having. On this small of an engine, you are gonna wanna know how much boost you are putting in so your engine stays in one part and you're not picking up pieces off the road. And so that's why we have that and we, uh, that'll be included in the kit. And we strongly suggest you use that. With it, we will be fine and there'll be no problems if we just keep an eye on our boost. And so uh, the bracket we have here that holds the supercharger goes into the existing holes on the water pump housing. So we're not having to uh, make new holes. We, just, we pull the holes out of the existing housing, uh, out existing housing. We put the bracket on and add a couple, uh, add the bolts back in that we will provide a little longer to hold uh, the bracket on. Uh, likewise, we have an idler on the on the bracket below, so we can make sure that we have um, a good uh, travel with the belts on the pulley, so we don't slip. And uh, and then along with that comes a longer belt, a 67 inch belt that will be included in the kit, also. Um, so that is uh, that is in a nutshell what this is going to be. This is the completed prototype. It heads off for production next week and hopefully we can have this into your hands um, soon and uh, be on the road and ready to go. Uh, thanks for joining us today.